Welcome back, guys. Uh, I told you guys that I would be doing a best of 2018 video, so this is it. Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, 2018 was a good year for Linux, in my opinion. Um, lots of good distributions. So I'm going to do this review a little bit different than most. I am going to break it down into categories. We're going to talk about the best distributions for new users, the best distributions for experienced or tinkerers, and then I'm going to talk about the best Debian distribution, the best Ubuntu distribution, and the best Arch distributions, and then I'll give you my opinion on what was the best overall distribution released in 2018. So let's talk about the best distributions for new users. Now, one of the criteria that I uh, thought was worthwhile would be the question, what distribution would you load on your relatives or your friend's computer knowing that if they had any problems or issues, they would probably end up calling you. And since I assume that you would not want a part-time unpaid job as a tech support person, you would probably go for a distribution that runs, installs easily, runs easily, is intuitive, doesn't hog resources, um, just an overall stable distribution. So within that criteria, my three picks for new users would be Elementary OS, <clears throat> Zubuntu 18.04, and Linux Mint 19. Or the new one is 19.1, I believe. Those three have pretty much all the bases covered. There is a little bit of difference. Elementary locks things down a, a little bit. Um, if you know how to dig in and tinker, you can get elementary to do whatever you want it to do. But using the criteria of a new Linux user who's a friend or relative and you want them to enjoy their computing experience without having to rely on you every day. I think the um, <clears throat> elementary, Zubuntu, and Linux Mint would fit the bill very nicely. Now, I'm partial to the LXDE desktop, which is going away, so I've been uh, using uh, XFCE and Mate um, and enjoying both. So in this case, uh, elementary uses the Pantheon desktop, really nice for new users. Uh, everything is simplified, laid out easily, uh, easy to understand, very intuitive. Uh, Zubuntu is XFCE, again, fits the criteria. Linux Mint, you can get it in XFCE, Cinnamon, or Mate, so you can pretty much take your pick. But that's the, those are the distributions that I would select if I were installing on a new user's computer and so that would be the best of 2018 for new users. Now for experienced users or tinkerers really it's wide open. My um, favorite which allows me to get a pretty polished desktop but still do a little bit of tinkering and learning along the way would be the new Manjaro open, open box 1802. Uh, but you can take it from, from one extreme to the other. You can go all the way to Gen 2 Slackware, or you can start a little bit uh, more polished with Debian 9.6. Now Debian I consider a desktop for experienced users or tinkerers because you have to do a lot of things yourself. There's no driver install manager that's going to install your drivers for you. You have to go to the command line and take care of business. Uh, Manjaro, Openbox, 
Antics 17. So those are some distributions that I think are very well done, but still allow you to dig in, get your hands dirty, learn a little bit along the way, which is always good. So those are my experienced users, tinkerers, uh, best of 2018. Debian 9.6, Manjaro Openbox, Antic 17, Slackware Gen 2. Uh, I'm not, my distributions are normally Debian, Ubuntu, or Arch. Okay, so the next, uh, I'm gonna break it down now to what I think is the best Debian distribution. I really like Debian 9.6, but for some of the reasons I mentioned, uh, I think it's best left to the experienced users or tinkerers. So if I was selecting a best Debian that I thought fit most of the criteria for uh, new users, uh, I would have to go with MX Linux. So MX Linux gets my vote for best Debian distribution of 2018. For Ubuntu, uh, I would have to go with Zubuntu 18.04. I'm not going with 18.10 only because it's a limited support. So I'm going to the latest long-term support version, which is 18.04. Uh, I have run it for quite some time. If you look at my Gparted, you can see that I have a terabyte hard drive that I have petitioned for various Linux distributions and I've been running these for quite a long time. Manjaro, Manjaro 18, that's the XFCE flagship version. Zubuntu 18.10, Peppermint OS 9, Ubuntu Mate 18.10, MX 17, Lubuntu 18.04, probably my favorite. Elementary OS, Debian 96, Linux Mint 19, or Debian 9.6, and Voyager 18.10. So I've been living with these guys for a while, put a lot of time in, and so uh, I enjoy all of them. And that's where my selections pretty much come from. So best Debian of the year would be MX Linux. Now, for, a, for Ubuntu, Zubuntu 18.04 would be my best Ubuntu. As I said, it's the latest long-term support release and it's rock solid, easy to learn, easy to maintain. Very, it fits very well into the uh, criteria where if you had to put somebody onto Linux, uh, which one would you choose so that they wouldn't have to lean on you all the time. My best Arch Linux distribution, again, using stability, uh, if, you can, if you can call Arch stable, that's debatable. But if I were to pick an Arch distribution that I think has done the best job of polish, reliability, ease of use, software availability, I would have to give that to Manjaro 18 XFCE, the flagship version. That would be my, my pick. Now, if, if I, when I talk about best distributions of, it, of, of uh, 2018, I gave you my pick for De Debian, Ubuntu, and Arch. But if I had to pick a best overall, well, first of all, let me tell you, I'll give you some honorable mentions. Peppermint OS, fantastic. You could probably put your relative or your friend on that, and they m would probably be very happy and very, um, it would run very stable for them. The only reason I didn't include it in the best category, and that the reason it's only getting honorable mention is because it's a hybrid. 
It has a little bit of LXDE, a little bit of XFCE. And so if you were to put somebody new on it <clears throat> and they started digging into find information on it, other than going directly to, Pe to Peppermint website, um, pro they're probably not going to find another distribution that's like that. I'm not sure if they could go to the Ubuntu folks for help, or even though it is Ubuntu based. It's using a hybrid desktop combination of a couple different. And so I think that makes it unique on the one hand, but maybe a little bit more difficult to uh, to learn only because it is very unique. Next honorable mention is Lubuntu 1804. And I mentioned that's my favorite. However, as you know, the LXDE desktop isn't always the easiest to configure. You do have to dig in, go to the command line, change some of the configuration files, which I don't mind doing. And I think the end result is absolutely phenomenal. However, because it is the LXDE desktop is being phased out and replaced by LXQT, which I'm not a big fan of, that's the reason I only gave it honorable mention. And the last uh, distribution that I wanted to give honorable mention to is Voyager Linux. It's based on Ubuntu. It's based on XFCE normally, although they are coming out with a GNOME version for 1810. But um, Voyager puts a lot of time and effort into their distribution. And so I think they should be recognized with an honorable mention. Now, for overall Linux distribution of 2018 that I believe ticks all the boxes, gives you a stable, reliable desktop, I wouldn't hesitate to put a new user or a uh, relative or friend on it. I'd have no qualms about installing it on their computer, and I believe they would probably do very well without having to lean on me for support. So the number one Linux distribution, in my opinion, based on that criteria for 2018, is Linux Mint XFCE 19.1. I believe it has all the boxes ticked. It's absolutely phenomenal, uh, stable, they have a helpful support group. You really can't go wrong with Linux Mint. And that's why it's always up at the top of the list on uh, DistroWatch. Now, during 2018, lots of uh, distributions made inroads on DistroWatch. If you look at MX Linux, man, it flew up from, from around 30 uh, all the way up to number two or number three. So that's pretty impressive, and I, I really like MX Linux, and I admire them. They've done a terrific, terrific job. So that is it for 2018, guys. Now, uh, right now I'm in Debian 9.6, stable version, and it's absolutely phenomenal. I'm running XFCE. It runs really, really well. I don't have any issues with it at all. However, it is not something that I would put on my relatives or friends' computer and just cut them loose. They, I would have to do a lot of hand-holding if I were to set up Debian for them. Um, but again, if I were setting up a friend or relative and wanted them to survive on their own, with very little intervention from me, I would have to go with Linux Mint 19.1. You can't go wrong with Elementary OS 5, and you can't go wrong with Ubuntu 18.04. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you're having a terrific holiday season, and I thank you very much for stopping by the channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.